many people have been asking questions about God in the past couple of weeks. Things like, how can God allow this? And he's given us his word that we can spend some time in it and we can know him as much as we can. Because I know we cannot fully comprehend God. Let's consider the following verses. From Psalm 119 verse 68. It says, Thou art good and doest good. In Isaiah 63 verse 7 it says, I will mention the loving kindness of the Lord and the praises of the Lord according to all that the Lord hath bestowed on us and the great goodness toward the house of Israel which he hath bestowed on them according to his mercies and according to the multitude of his loving kindness. How precious also are the thoughts unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them! Found in Psalm 139 verse 17. For the Lord will again rejoice over thee for good. Found in Deuteronomy chapter 13 verse 9. Then Psalm 36 verse 7 says, How excellent is thy loving kindness, O God! Therefore the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wings. And Psalm 34 verse 8 says, O taste and see that the Lord is good. Now, just some thoughts to consider. A local church will only be as great as its conception of God. We need to spend time looking at who God is. Um, the verses that I read all had, and we're looking at the goodness of God. So what does good mean? It's kind-hearted, gracious, good-natured, benevolent, warm-hearted, and friendly. <clears throat> because of the this reason, and the fact that God doesn't change, He's infinite, we know that he is, it is impossible for God to be anything and not be completely uh, what that thing is. Like, for God can't be partially good. He's fully good can't be partially loving, he is loving. As we spend some time uh, in God's word and reading scripture, we will come to understand that no one ever got anything from God on the grounds that he deserved it. So if God answers prayer, it is because God is good. And it comes from his goodness and his loving kindness. <coughs> So I close this this devotion, close with a verse that says, I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, neither height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. It comes from Romans 8, verse 38 and 39.